I always encourage anyone first diagnosed, just focus on, write down the questions that are most important. What is most in your mind right now that you want to know and then go deep and get as much information as you can about that. But don't be afraid to talk to other men who have gone through a similar experience. I have found what helped me a lot, and I have a lot of conversations with other men who have had prostate cancer or still have prostate cancer. Sometimes we don't talk about the cancer at all. It's just, how is it going? And you end up with a phone call or a conversation or a lunch with somebody like that. That gives a lot of encouragement. And it gives the sense that cancer is not going to dominate my life. The cancer, in my case, is not going to go away. And it does help you shift very emphatically on what do I need to do to live a successful life with a cancer that is probably always going to be a part of the years that I have left. And that's when really, uh, for me, by this stage of my journey, I had met advocacy groups. I had started to become involved with one. Zero prostate cancer uh, has been an important part of my cancer journey. There are other organizations I also respect in this field, but you want to evaluate the resources they have and where they get their information, and just as importantly, where they will refer you to if you need information on a specific treatment protocol. So again, I think we all in this day and age have to be very wise. A lot of information, not all that information is the information that's going to help me. And I'm the one that has to make the right decision. So I want to make sure I'm dealing with an organization that I trust and that I believe has a track record of credibility.